Hi everyone, today's video is about dashing through a wall. It's a request from Double Boom Gamer. We start with a Z slide and a box. Connect it to the person using that Z slide connector. A constant set to negative three will set its distance from the player. We wanna make the box as small as possible and non-physical. Then we'll need two touch sensors. The way we're gonna build this out is that one will detect if there is anything in the place we wanna to teleport to, and one will check if we're near a wall to phase through or dash through. So we're gonna size them accordingly. The one that checks for the wall is long in front of the player with a connection point of Z positive, Z negative. The small one that checks the other side of the wall to see if we can phase or dash through the wall should also be set to Z positive, Z negative so that it's level with the player. Then we'll have a few logic gates here. If there is nothing in the place we want to teleport to, but there is a wall in front of us and we're pressing a button, then we want to cause the player to teleport. So let's add in those teleport nodons, make sure that they work with the person object. And what's really going to help make it look like you're actually phasing through the wall is adding some effects. So you can use a smoke ball that's set to world that's attached to the player, a musical sting, and we can make the player perform an action. So it'll look something like this. And that looks pretty good. One thing you might also want to do is set the button to on press. It makes the teleporting a little bit tighter.